Bluetooth headphones with 35 hours of working time? I'll take them. You may or may not remember, I made a video about a product called the Noontech VR headset a while back. Noontech reached out to me again and asked if I wanted to check out these Bluetooth headphones. These are the Zoro 2 wireless Bluetooth fashion headphones. Cause fashion. And I sincerely hope they make me look like this guy. All right. But as you can see from the box, they are wireless. They're aptX CSR. They have NFC, high definition audio, and some other stuff over here. They look pretty snazzy. But it's the 35 hour battery life that sounds really interesting to me. Now I will mention ahead of time, these are 120 bucks over on Amazon US, which for a pair of Bluetooth headphones is a little bit high. I'll go ahead and give you that. So let's just see if they live up to that price point. So here are the headphones. Off to the side with you. Here's your instruction manual in a bunch of languages. Fancy little bag here. Probably never gonna use it. Micro USB charging cable and pretty snazzy looking black and red three and a half millimeter cable with a mute button on it. Taking a closer look at the headphones themselves, as you can see there, they do snap into place. So they do fold up like that and then snap in when you're ready. These are definitely going to be on ear as opposed to over ear because these are some real teeny tiny little cups here. So keep that in mind. Here's your little NFC sticker. It's on the left hand side. Three and a half millimeter port back here. On the left hand side, you have a play pause button and apparently an LED status indicator for battery life. So just double tap on here and it shows you three out of four. On the right hand side, you have your track forward, track back, volume up, volume down buttons and your micro USB charging port. Other than that, black and red, a little bit of padding here in the top, a little bit of padding here on the cups, not a huge amount, but it'll get the job done. Very shiny Noontech branding, black band all around, Zoro 2 wireless branding here on the sides. And most importantly, at least in my opinion, how do they feel? How do they fit. Yeah, these are very much on ear, not over ear. So just again, reminding you, they are going to block out a little bit of sound because just right now I can't hear a lot, but they do have the potential to become uncomfortable over time. So let me go ahead and power these on. Power on. And they're NFC, so I technically shouldn't have to do any sort of Bluetooth pairing sequence. I should just be able to tap my phone on them if I can find the NFC point in my phone. For some reason, NFC doesn't seem to be working right now, but in my device list, it does show Zoro 2 wireless, so I'll go ahead and just pair to that. And it says they are connected. So let's see how they sound. Again, the second time, third time I've put these on, they are actually quite comfortable. I just have a feeling over time, because they're not over ear, they're gonna get more uncomfortable to me. But for right now, they're not bad. So I'm going into my YouTube audio library on my device. Pretty good, good bass. Wow, those get really loud. They have separate volume levels. So there's one volume level here and one on my phone. I'm probably getting a little loud now. That's nice. That's very good all over the range. I've been really impressed with most of the Bluetooth headphones I've tried recently because they've all been pretty good. Yeah, that's really nice. And has the ability to pump out some sound. Wow. Let me go ahead and try it with three and a half millimeter while we're in here. And I'll go ahead and just turn the power off on these. Now just keep in mind, I am using the HTC 10, which has a built-in DAC, which should make it sound just a little bit better, but I can turn on and off some of the stuff in that. Actually, it sounds just the same. Yeah, sounds just the same. Sounds good both ways. And still gets really loud. All right, initial impressions for me. Sounds really good. Time to share with the class. This is called About That Oldie from the YouTube Audio Library. Beat your competition. Let's turn them up a bit. Sorry, I stopped listing the song titles there. This is C Major Prelude by Bach, Calypso Beach Walk. Cataclysmic Molten Core. Let me listen again just to make sure. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, good, I like it. And if I turn the HTC Boom sound off, the Dolby audio off, it still sounds good. It sounds just more full and more bassy when I have that turned on. So without it, it's not gonna be as full, but it does have the capability of doing that. So if you're putting something through it that has that capability, it's gonna sound a little bit better. That makes a big difference. HTC 10 with a built-in DAC, oh yeah. So yeah, initial thoughts and impressions. I'm not a huge fan of the design. I'm gonna keep saying it, they're not over ear and that's what I prefer. But if you do like the on-ear style, this is definitely gonna be right up your alley. The shiny fingerprint magnet on the outside of it, again, not really my style. But if you're into that black and red vibe, this will definitely get the job done too. It does collapse down to be pretty portable and it comes with a carrying case. And if it does live up to that 35 hour battery life they're claiming, these are gonna be some amazing headphones. Are they worth 120 bucks? I'm not 100% certain on that one. These do sound very, very nice. So I'll leave that up to you to decide. I'll put a link down in the description to where you can find them. 
Thanks so much to Noontech for sending these out for me to check out. Remember to leave a thumbs up down below if you like the video, subscribe to receive more, and we will see you again next time. What do you think? Do I look like him? Am I snazzy yet? Am I awesome? <laughs>